Now, in this video, we will cover the join operators in link. Basically, when we have the multiple data sources in which there should be something common but still it is non-navigable means you can't make a direct relationship between them. So in that particular case, we will use the join operators in order to get the combined result. So in this practical implementation, we are going to perform the join operations in which we will work with the join and group join operators. So let's have a practical implementation of it. Now for implementing the joins in link, here I have created a couple of classes like first class is the department class where I have taken a couple of properties like department ID and department name. And here in the employees class, I have four fields like ID, name, salary and department with the specific data types. Now, while making the joins, what I'll do here is I will make a join using the department ID field from the employee class and the department ID field from the department class. So for that, here I have taken a page inside which already I have taken a grid view for displaying the data. And here I have created a method like get employees and get departments in which I have entered few records. Like here you can see ID, name, salary and department ID are the four fields which I have initialized for each record. Now at the end I have returned that employee list. Similarly here I have taken department list in which I have put four departments with an ID 10, 20, 30, 40. And here for the employees I have specified the same IDs like 10, 20, 30, 40 for the various employees. Now here I just populated a couple of lists like employees you calling get employee method and departments use calling get departments method. Now I have few records in the employees object and the departments object in which I will make a join using department ID field. So what I want here in this particular query is I will get the name of employee and department. For that here what I have done like previous example from employee from EMP in employees. Alright but right after that I want to make a join. So for that I have used join keyword join department in departments like DPT in departments. And right after that, you'll have to uh, tell like which is the common field between these two objects. So on emp.dptid equals dpt.dptid. So like this, you have specified the couple of objects along with the common field in those objects. Now in the select, I will specify what all I want to retrieve. So here I wanted to get a couple of things like emp.name and dpt.dept name the respective uh, fields for the couple of objects. Here I have set something like new which we will discuss later while discussing the projection operator. So here you just need to write like this and whatever the result will come will be here in the result variable of variant type which I will set for the data grid view for the grid view for displaying the data now data gr uh, grid view dot data bind all right so that will bind the record with the grid view now let's execute this particular page to get the output and here you can see like i have all the records like eight employees with the respective name and their department name so this is how you can make a simple kind of a join but if I want to perform a group operation along with making the join, then we can do that as well. So for that, I will just replace this query with the another one with few changes. Like here, I will also specify like, like along with the department name, department ID means uh, department in departments, join EMP in employees on the common field name like we did earlier. Just after that, I will say into grp into is a keyword which will make the grouping all right and grp is just a variable which will help us in making that group so right here in this select the couple of things i'm looking for first is the dept.dept name all right so i will actually make the group on the basis of this department name all right so that will be grouped okay 
and then total salary for that I have just called the aggregate function which we will discuss in a great detail in the com coming videos but here what I want the department name from departments collection this one and this sum of salary which I am giving for each employee in a given department from this collection alright so total salary is equal to grp dot sum sum is this function out here in which there is an anonymous type that's a lambda expression so here I just pass any particular variable with the as a parameter and then which will be of employee type and then I will specify the salary means the sum of salary will be done in this particular manner and apart from that I will get the department name so all the department with the same name will be grouped and the output will be displayed as here you can see in the output here IT operation training HR along with the total salary given in each department so this is how you can go for the join operator to perform a normal join and join with some group operation